the, the other question I was going to ask you on that is kind of where did you uh, where did you come across these sites? Did you reach out to people like one to one, or were they were on were they on like Flipper, or how, how did you find these sites? Or generally, how do you find them? Yeah, so most of the sites that I buy now, people come to me. Um, I have a free valuation tool on my website, and I personally look at each one. If I like a site, I'll just make an offer right away. If it's not right for me, then we'll list it on my marketplace, and I'll represent it and help them find a buyer. So really that's how I'm finding most of my sites is people just bring them to me um, and through my email list too. Um, whenever I send out a newsletter, there's a lot of people that are just like, hey, you know, I started this blog, it's doing well, I don't have time to do it. Can you run with it? And and that's really been the, the best way. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'd like to come on to the, the, the brokering part as well in a sec, but you mentioned um, like some, you, you dabbled with some drop shipping in the past. Like what, what was that that you did? I did. Yeah. So I did that um, just a couple years out of college and I didn't end up holding on to it. I actually held on to the domain. I rebranded the site and sold the domain and website on a few years later. But the actual business that I was running, just I just stopped doing it. It was drop shipping clothing, um, swimsuits and beachwear uh, from China. And um, I did that for a few years and it, w it was a lot of fun, but Man, there, there's just so much that goes into it. And I really wanted to just focus on the content side rather yeah. than customer service. That's not, you know, I'm all about passive income and we all know that niche building isn't 100% passive. It takes work and strategy, but there is a certain passive element that comes into play once your site is generating revenue. But the drop shipping site, it's really not just because there's a lot of back and forth, there's customer service, there's just certain elements you have to track. Where's the package? You know, what's going on? And that's not where my, uh, I'm not excited by that, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've never tried drop shipping and I've heard that a lot, but also I've heard people that, you know, if you get it right, you can make a killing with drop shipping. So yeah. So, yeah. 